functional movement really requires coordinated muscle coordination, contractions, and recruitment, and it's all driven by the CNS. And you can see there are movers, you have your primary and synergies, your stabilizers, neutralizers, as well as antagonist relaxation. So in a nutshell, muscle strength really is not as important as coordinated movement. You can have all the strength you want or need, but if you do not incorporate into the function, it may not be a pretty movement. So, for example, you could make your quads extremely strong by doing tons and tons of knee extension with, with weights. But the question is, can your quads function in a, let's say, sit to stand or a squat position? So you can have the strongest quads, but may not be able to do this movement properly. So more important is look at the movement pattern. You can see that muscle imbalance, if this is present, can actually cause or result in poor movement patterns or perpetuation of musculoskeletal pain. This is an important concept because Oftentimes, patients come in over and over and over again. You could just do a Band-Aid by teaching them to do a few exercises here and there. But if you do not change the movement pattern, then the pain actually or the dysfunction get perpetuated. So many times what we need to be doing is actually, we're like detectives. When we see a patient walk in the door, not every patient is the same. We have to evaluate them and give them what they need, but always in the back of mind, think of how can this movement pattern be changed. And this is only possible if you can change the program in the brain. So, Yanda always, this is a quote from Yanda. Muscles can cause, can both cause and reflect alter function. What does that mean? So if I have a muscle imbalance, it can actually cause some dysfunction because it affects joint mechanics and the stability of a joint. On the other hand, I can also look at function. I can look at the movement pattern and also start going backward and say and predict what muscles may not be doing its work well. So it's basically very interactive. I can look at someone's posture or the way they move and already make the predictions on what may not be working well or what or what muscles may be dominant.